Yo, so we're almost ready to do some test shoots. We've just got a little bit of machine maintenance to do. And, uh, add some little bips and bobs. And, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, hop hoppity hippity. added these little hard stops at the end of whatever this axis is with felt pads on the ends so those won't run off the rail not that that ever really happens but it kind of did happen once so because we have this light that's going to be coming up during the animation and lighting the subjects we don't want the carriage there to cast a shadow onto the subject so what I've done is I just added this home wand after frame checkbox and when that's checked after the last exposure of every frame it'll send it back to home so that we've got a clear path and then dragon frame will take the exposure with the with the light <laughs> We're testing repeatability. Before I lubricated this Z axis, I think it was having some skipped steps issues. Uh, maybe only during the homing process. I don't think I was having this problem before. Lubricating the rail seemed to make it much easier to move. I think that's helping, but I think the problem is still here. Yeah, it's definitely sinking down with every cycle. Um, I don't know what changed since last time. I wasn't having this problem before. Normally you would solve this problem by giving the steppers acceleration instead of starting them at full speed or just moving them really slowly, which is the solution that I took before. It's not really very easy to implement acceleration with the way I've done it. Uh, also, it seems to only be the z-axis, which is a little strange. Oh. Ah. Hello. Okay, now that it's rehoming, we should see it recalibrated and it'll It'll be landing much higher. Yeah, so we lost about, I don't know, an inch and a half over those 20 cycles. And it'll slowly sink down to here at the end of this 20 cycles. It seems to lose the most height, like almost a centimeter, on that first run for some reason. 
after that it's much more gradual. Whoa! Okay, look at this. Um, so I disconnected the stepper motor and if I just push down on this with constant force seems to be getting little cyclical jams so that makes me think that something about one, maybe one of the circulating ball bearings in the slider is messed up, rusted maybe? Um, I have an extra one of these, so somewhere in here. Uh -huh. So let's try replacing it. Wait a second. First of all, this feels pretty smooth. I thought that maybe when the belt is on, it, there was some kind of torque on it maybe that's making it jam. But I think the real problem... Glad I caught this. First of all, I didn't actually unplug the stepper. That was actually the light. Um, but no, the real problem... Look at this. That's just not... It's not tight anymore. I th okay, so I think this was just slipping. I don't think I have a key for these set screws. So the other problem here is that uh, this flat on the shaft is meant to register with these set screws, but my problem is that because of the way the belt is positioned, it actually puts the set screws back past the shaft flat. So it's trying to set on the round shaft. That's another reason it's slipping here. I'm going to take off all of these motors and grind that flat farther back. something small and it instantly phases out of existence. Aha! It phased back into existence. Fun fact, all of these uh, cable carrier brackets are made out of sheet metal from a printer, I think. This one already had this whole pattern in it, more or less, and I kind of just cut it down. We're back. We're uh, doing that repeatability test again, and it looks like 
that fixed did the trick. It looks like our, our pulley was just slipping on the motor shaft. And it looks like right now, just tapping off each time. Looks pretty good. Just a little kiss. Um, yeah, that's sweet. Oh, we're homing. So, if it's touching off in the same point after this uh, recalibration, we should be good. That means it didn't drift after those last 20 cycles that it did. Nice. That looks exactly the same. Alright, cool. I think we're good. I was getting pretty worried there that we would have to implement a complicated acceleration solution that I did not want to do.